The floor and ceiling function are used in computer science and math to round to the nearest integer. The notation for the floor is outlined in yellow, while the notation for the ceiling is in red. The floor and ceiling functions map the real numbers to the integers. The floor of x equals an integer n if and only if n is less than or equal to x is less than n plus 1. Here is a graph where x is the value and the floor of x is n. The ceiling function is similar except the x is between n minus 1 and n. Seen here, the value x has the ceiling n. Here are some examples of floor inputs. On the right are the outputs. So 1.4 goes down to 1, and 2.99, although very close to 3, goes down to 2. Negative 0.5, however, goes to negative 1, and negative 2.51 goes down to negative 3. Here's a graph. Using the same inputs, you can see the ceiling function rounds up, where 1.4 becomes 2, 2.99 now becomes 3. Negative 0.5 goes to 0, and negative 2.51 goes to negative 2. Here's the graph. Here's a theorem. Let x be an element of the reals. Then the floor of x plus 1 equals the floor of x plus 1. Since the floor of x plus 1 is an integer, you can replace the right side with just the integer n. By the definition of the floor, n is less than or equal to x plus 1 is less than n plus 1. Subtracting 1, n minus 1 is less than or equal to x is less than n. By the definition of the floor, you get the floor of x equals n minus 1. So therefore, n equals the floor of x plus 1. That means that the floor of x plus 1 equals the floor of x plus 1. 